Well, I'm back. I have the remainder of the gemstone jewelry that we started in part one, which was probably a few days ago. Um, there's some interesting pieces in here. Again, let me remind you to please smash the like button for me. Hit that thumbs up. Um, really would be appreciated. Um, also, please do me a favor. And if you're new and this is the first time watching the Jewelry Pirate channel, please subscribe. Um, we're fun and it's a small channel. And uh, we're trying to get new subscribers. Also, if you want to claim items, you must be registered first. Please go to the description underneath the video and my email address will be down there. There's no obligation for you to purchase, but just in case, one of these days you might see something that you really like in one of the videos and you might be interested in claiming something, just send me a quick email with your information, which is your name, your YouTube name, your mailing address, I will have your email address, I guess, when you mail me. And let me know what kind of jewelry that you like. Because I always try to include a free gift or two in your order. Um, and don't forget to, um, when you do claim, ladies, very important, make sure you do the timestamp. Okay. And then also put a brief description of the item so I don't have a hard time finding it. And also the price. If it's a video that has prices in it, please put the price. That also helps me to distinguish one item from the other. And again, don't forget to hit the bell. That bell will let you know when I upload a new video. Okay, so we're going to go through this again. Um, this is a second part, and we probably have um, just about the same amount of stuff here that we did in the first. It's a little bit different stuff. And um, we got some pendants, um, some bracelets. There's even a couple of pieces of bone in here. Um, some really nice items. All right, so our first piece is going to be a chip necklace. And um, this is different chips. Um, Let's see here. I'll give you a measurement also. This is kind of short. This is a 16 inch. There is no no extender. Now, I want you to look at this one. Remember when I showed you the, um, the garnets and some of the other pieces? This one here is on a wire compared to being on, um, on a thread or a string. Um, there's beading thread. There's beading string. Believe me, the beading string that we use today in today's day and age is extremely strong. Um, but it, this, in other words, you get better flexibility when you use the string. Or a very, very flexible wire comes in different um, diameters. And also, it also comes in um, how many wires are included in that single string and it can go anywhere from 7, 15 up to like 49 and the more wires that are in in your beading wire um, makes it more flexible and also it's reflected in the cost so most people that string beads tend to use the the cheapest that they can get and by no means is it cheap so we're talking the difference you know probably of 10 to 15 dollars between the um, the, the wire that only has seven strands in it compared to the strand that has 49 in, in it. So anyway, we, this, is, this is the strand of the gemstone beads. Um, we have in here, there's um, sodalite, rose quartz, green adventurine. Um, there's some Dalmatian jasper. Um, let's see what else is in here. Some gold stone, um, some faux turquoise, amethyst, there's agates. Um, very, very nice. Okay. Simple. Clasp has got some oxidation on it, but other than that, it's a pretty necklace. Let's do uh, $4 on this pretty chip necklace. Okay. Let's put that over here. 
Now, I have a very long, this is also with a lobster claw clasp, no extension, um, extender, excuse me. Um, let me get this ruler out. That's 24 and uh, I guess this is a 30 inch necklace. And what this is, like I said, this is black seed beads and it's done with Dalmatian Jasper. Okay, and there's some spacer beads in there. Um, these are very large pieces of Dalmatian Jasper and um, the condition of this is pretty good. The um, I don't see anything really wrong with it. There might be a little bit of the plating on some of the spacers that might not be so great. Or it could just be some dirt. Lobster claws in good shape. No extender. Now, yeah, one thing about Dalmatian Jasper. Every once in a while, you're going to see um, some of this. And you, a lot of people call it Dalmatian Jasper. But, but it has a green cast to it. And you'll see the same stone, only the background on this will be green. And uh, that's no longer called Dalmatian Jasper, but it's called Kiwi Jasper. So if you ever get something in, 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 in a package and you see that, you're going to know that you have something different. Now, Dalmatian Jasper, as you can see, can have anywhere between a tan background especially on the larger stones. When you get down into the, some of the smaller stones, you can almost get a deeper tan, like an ichro um, tone. All right, so we have this really pretty necklace. Let's do this one here for $5. Okay. We have a really nice Amazonite stretch bracelet. Um, it has a couple of glass beads as your focal point in the front. Okay. And the rest is Amazonite. Stretch seems pretty good. It's hard to tell when you, they, they're in the bag for a long time. All right. But this is a very, very pretty, pretty bracelet. All right. Now these are... Um, I would consider that these are like um, rectangle beads, but I consider them more of um, a polished nugget. All right, and you can see that all the rhinestone rondelles, and then there's another one here on this side that's a little bit different. It's a little fancier. It almost has like a whole bunch of little baguettes in it. All right, let's do this pretty Amazonite bracelet for five. Now, here's a bracelet which is gorgeous. Um, I've never seen one like this. This is also a stretch, and the stretch seems pretty good on it. Um, this would almost match that necklace that we had in part one. But if you notice the earrings and the necklace in part one were more of a matte finish. This is a shiny finish. Okay, this is not those typical... This is high quality shell here, done on a double strand of stretch. This is absolutely beautiful. It's different. Okay, I don't know if you can see this very good. It's really beautiful. Take a look at this. Really nice. It almost looks like teeth, but it's not. If it was teeth, it wouldn't be going anywhere. There's your inside. That's the back side of these. All right, let's do this pretty highly polished shell bracelet for $4. All right. When I have one of these in the shell, if you purchase something and you'd like me to include this, I will send this along for free. Okay. It's very pretty. Stretches really good. It's actually brand new. All right. But I'd like to put a couple of freebies in when I can. I'll send this one along as a freebie. All right. Let's see what's next. Okay. Here we have, um, this is an older. Now, I would, if this, if I was anybody, I would take this piece here off. I think it takes away from the beauty of these beads. 
my, in my opinion. But a lot of people like these filled with reed pendants. I mean, and it doesn't look bad on there. But I would probably take them off. You have some cranberry beads and then some salmon color rounds. Um, very nice. Ice cold. Let me give you a measurement. There's no extender on this. Has a spring ring clasp. Um, this is 19 inches, not counting the pendant. All right, so let's do this really pretty, pretty, pretty necklace for four dollars. Okay, this one is really pretty. These are all heishi beads. Let me give you a measurement. All right, this is going to be 16 inches, so this is going to be a choker. This is going to sit up on your neck like this. You're probably going to have a little bit in the in the big in the big the front. Now that looks like a preonite stone to me. Um, don't take take my word on it, but I have a lot of preonite here, and that's what this reminds me of. It's all it's it's opaque, but you can see through it a little bit. We have some check beads here with some finish on them. And um, these are all really small heishi beads. Um, really, really, really different. Um, and it's got a spring ring on it. All right, so this is going to be more of a choker style. It's going to be more of a delicate. And it's going to have that really beautiful um, teardrop, highly, um, highly polished and faceted bead as your focal point. Let's do this one for four dollars. Okay, let's see what else we have here. I'm going to put this to the side. Now, this here, I don't know if that's wear or if that's, um, well, it's polishing up, so it's not wear. Now my fingers are going to be black. All right, so this is going to need a good polish. This has got a nice heart shaped. I, I left my polishing stone over. Yeah, this is this is polishing very nicely. Um, you can see that compared to that. Look at the dirt. All right, now this is pearls, and these are what you call amethyst teardrop beads, and um, they're very pretty. Now, the pearls are irregular, but there's no way that I can... Let me see here. Now, I can't really get in. I would assume they're not real, but you never know. And I don't see no markings on this from this point, but not to say that it isn't or could be sterling because it's shining up. See how dirty that is? And if I just rub it with my finger a little bit, look. So I think that this will polish up very nicely. Um, lengthwise, I would wear this and I would put the toggle down as the focal point. Um, this is probably about 17 inches. And I like this type of toggle because when you put this in, well, my hands are going to be black when I'm done with this. When you put this, get this in there, this is going to be a toggle that's not going to come off. It actually hooks. And with this polish, this would look really, really nice as the focal on this. So that's why I was saying that. Um, let's do this pretty, pretty necklace here. Well, look how black my hands are getting. Um, let's do this for five. I think you'll like that. The little delicate pearls and the amethyst teardrops. Okay, now let's grab this one. This one here is very pretty. Um, this has um, a lot of different um, stones on here. And then it's got an absolutely gorgeous um, focal bead. And I'm not positive what the focal bead is made out of, but um, it is pretty. Let me show you this focal bead. I don't know if it's plastic. I don't know if it's wood. I'm not sure. But can you see this beautiful bead here with the flowers? All right. Now, this is mookite right here. And um, 
You don't see that too often. I happen to have a lot of it in my jewelry making stash because I like it. It's a very earthy tone um, bead and it also comes from like in one piece in Rukite you can get very very many um, pieces of different colored stone. Now these here highly polished. I think they're marble. I don't know what these are. These are just glass. Then we have some cherry quartz. Okay, here. This is rhodonite. Here. More rhodonite. We have, um, this is a marble, these black and white beads. Okay. So there's a mixture of a lot of beads that go along with this really, really pretty bead here with the focal point. Now this has a toggle clasp also. And not the same as the other one. This here is going to be um, 19, oops, just, Baxter, go away. Um, Baxter's running around here crying, wanting me to pet him. Oh. Yeah, I know. All right, so here's the this beautiful piece with that beautiful focal bead. Um, let's do $7 on this. Look at the polish on this and the difference, all the different colors. Really pretty. Okay. Now this is more Amazonite. And this is another. Um, the chips are good. They're not rough. Um, so we'll do the same thing on this. And this again is, this has got a little tiny extender on about an inch. It's not going to make any difference, but it. It'll make it 17 and, let's see, 17, 18 and a half inches compared to 16 and a half inches. All right, so we'll do this one for four. Okay. All right. Um, trying to do this without getting anything tangled. Now, this is very pretty. This is a really nice piece of agate here, and I like this cord. Um, you could wear this up close to your neck. All you have to do with this is you just have to grab a hold of these and you pull them, and um, you can make it whatever size you want. All right, and you can shorten it or lengthen it. All right, and once you do this, you just pull the other one. Okay, so you can make this up here short and wear it around your neck where it would come down. It would probably lay on your shoulder um, blades here in the front. Your collarbone, excuse me. Oh, God, shoulder blades. And then we have um, a little bit of macrame done here with a green. It's very, very, very pretty. All right, let's do this piece for $4. All right, let me see what I got here. All right, I have a really pretty goldstone um, necklace here. You get Buster. Um, I don't know if you can see this too well, but these are all graduated discs of goldstone going all the way around. It has a barrel clasp. It is 18 inches, so it's going to hang on your collarbone. It's very, very, very pretty. A lot of sparkle in this one. You see all that? This is a real, somebody did a nice job when they, they mixed up this batch of goldstone because it has a lot of um, sparkle to it. Now, I also have a pair of earrings that I will send along with it. They're on shepherd hooks. I don't think that they're silver. They're right there. Um, let me know if, 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 you, if, if you'd be interested in these. I'd like to do the whole set. The earrings on the shepherd hooks along with the necklace with the barrel clasp. I'd like to do this for eight dollars. Okay. Now, those two necklace sets that we had in the beginning of the last video, I have 
a pair of earrings. They were $8 each. I have a pair of earrings that will go with each one of those for the, the bluish green and also for the pink. All right, they're beautiful. So they'll be included if you pick those, you pick those necklaces up. All right, what do we got next? Let's put this and this together here. And let's grab this. All right, have a nice natural abalone necklace. Again, this I don't know what the story is with this lobster cool. I mean, toggle because it needs a polish. And let me see my fingers here. It's going to definitely be dirty. Yeah, that'll shine up. All right, so let me. This is long. This is really nice. I've got a ruffle sore throat on the way. I don't know if it's the nose drops I'm using or what. I'm just miserable. I don't know why this won't go away. Oh. All right, so this here is 12, 13 inches, 26 inch long. All right, really pretty, pretty, pretty abalone um, ovals. This is fairly fluid. Okay, very nice long necklace with the abalone. And these are, oh, what do they call them? Um, oh, good grief. Doublets? These are doublets. This is a disc. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. If you look at these, in the middle of these, there's um, some of the ones that are down here that are bigger. You can see it. Um, there's a disc that's in the middle. And then they take and they apply the, the um, abalone to each side. Now, up here, I think they just took the two pieces of abalone and put them together. All right, where the, where the larger ones, you can see the black part of the doublet in the middle and the piece on the top and the piece on the bottom all right let's do this really pretty necklace here which is really gorgeous you'll love this if you wear it and it's got some really nice little iridescent beads down at the bottom of the necklace in between the spacers that really shine really beautiful let's do this one for seven i know you're not getting the full look at that there you go Let's look at the, how nice that abalone is. All right. Oh, what should we do now? Okay. This one I'm just going to put out as a freebie. All right. There's some pendants here. So if you decide to pick up a pendant, um, these are little tiny pearls. And I think they're real. They look real. Yeah, they're a little gritty. And it's just done with seed beads. It's probably an 18, 17 to 18 inch necklace. So we'll do this with free with purchase. Um, it would go nice with, this one's too heavy. It would go really nice with this pendant here, which I'm going to show you in a little bit. Um, it would go pretty with the rose quartz pendant. So I'm going to put this over as a freebie. All right, now, here's another one of these nice necklaces. This is older. It's got um, a spring ring clasp, and it will polish up a little bit. Um, now, I think that this pendant was an afterthought that went on here because it's just on with a little bit of a wire from what I can see. Um, these are really nice red beads. I'm not sure what they are with little pearls in between. I think they're faux. Can you hear this cat carrying on? Oh, boy. Meow. And this is um, some real pieces of flour here. Um, I think that's been turned around and sealed in this in a resin on this nice piece of shell. So, my opinion, I think the necklace itself is very, very pretty. Um, it does make a statement by itself. Um, if you like this, I think this is very nice, but I think that this pendant would look much nicer 
if a jump ring was put on to, uh, in through here or a bail was put on here and it was put on a different necklace. Okay, so the measurement on this one. All right. Um, this is 19 inches. Again, I said I had the spring ring clasped. Just need to, and it shines up a little bit. Let's do this one for uh, four dollars. Okay, I have a really nice amethyst necklace here. Really nice. Um, wait a minute, let me see this here. No, it's a necklace and a bracelet. Give me a second. Hang on. So we got a set. All right, there's the bracelet. Here's the necklace. This is gorgeous. I think you'll like this. And the necklace is fairly long, and it has a decent extender on it. Necklace is it's going to be an 18-inch necklace with a 2-inch extender. Right, and it's dark amethyst. And here is your bracelet. Now, the, the ones up here are a little smaller than the ones down in the bottom in the middle. And this is some nice, nice, highly polished dark amethyst. Okay. Gold beads in between. And this is the same thing. Starts out with smaller beads and comes down to these really, really, really nice. Now, you can tell that this is decent amethyst because these are smaller beads up at the top here. And the color is not that much different except for these three huge, humongous beads down at the bottom. That means the, the, the density of the color in the amethyst is very good. So, again, we have the necklace with the matching bracelet. All right, they have um, little gold beads in between, gold lobster claw clasps and also extenders on them. All right, let's do this set. Oh, about $14 for these two pieces. This is beautiful. This is nice quality amethyst. This isn't garbage. Okay, and it's highly polished beauty. All right. Let's go through. Let's see what we got here. This one I can't find. I don't think. Wait a minute. Maybe that's it. Oh, okay. We got it. That's cool. I have all the earrings matched up for one, and I just found it. Okay. Now this. Uh, let me see this. I'm pretty sure that this is sterling. Um, it looks like it. Now this has a glass pendant on it. All right, I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, it's ice cold with gold markings on it. Looks like the Ace of Spades shape, kind of. And this is also an Amazonite, but it looks more on the green side. And the reason that is, is because they sparse, um, they spaced it with green teardrop beads and very tiny uh, check fire polished beads. Now, I would imagine, I'm not going to test it, but these all look like silver spacers to me. Let me see, where's my loop? Oh, good grief, I made sure I had it here before I started, and now I don't see the darn thing. Oh, I'm going to sell this as sterling. All right, I can't find my loop. There it is. I just want to make sure it's got that cast to it. This is a pretty necklace, and I'll give you a measurement. Yes, this is 925. All right. And the necklace itself is 22 inches, and then the pendant is one and a quarter inches. So here's here's your pendant again. 
Oh, sorry about that. My monitor just went off again. We're almost done. Here's the pendant. There's your Amazonite. All right, there's your teardrops. Sterling heart. Okay, and I'm pretty sure these are sterling. So let's sell this really beautiful, beautiful necklace with this gorgeous pendant. It go everything goes together so well. Let's do 14 on this. This is gorgeous. All right. If it doesn't go, I'm gonna wear it. Because it's really pretty. Alright. Um, we have this necklace. And this is how white. Give me a second. I'm going to hold this on here. There you go. All right. And nothing is broken on here. It's all perfect. Okay. Um, very, very pretty necklace. And we'll do this one here. Um, let me give you a measurement. No extender down to the middle of the necklace. Oh, I think this is going to be 22 inches, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Almost, yeah, almost 22 inches. All right, there's your clasp. And there's your spikes, and there goes my jewelry down onto the floor. What did I say on this? Four dollars? Three dollars? You name it. Yep, there goes my loop. All right. This has been wanting to come out of here for a while. Now this you'll have to tie on, or you can make, make, um, put this on a different bracelet but this is very pretty you would just tie a little loop after you get it on your wrist and I do a loop like this I I crisscross all right and then I go like this no that's not what I do like <laughs> I crisscross all right go through and then I oh I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I do this when I do it on my feet um yeah, you got to do, you got to, you got to close it once. Okay, and then you're going to take this and put this through here and the opposite one through there. And then you pull both loops. Okay, but this is a gorgeous piece of jeruzzi that's in here. Um, really, really pretty. Can you see all the, um, I know it's hard, but it's got a lot of, a lot of crystals in there. And it's what I like about it. It's natural. It's not a piece of dye, Druzy, which it seems like today that's all you get is all these hot pinks and bright blues and even that awful green. Okay, and you can tell because it's all one color. All right, so we have this really beautiful piece here. We're basically selling this um, for the piece of the Druzy, so let's do $3 on this. Okay. Now, what is this? Oh, these are pretty. It's a long necklace. Like a nice delicate gemstone necklace. This is long. 12. Uh, 12 and 6. 18. This is 36 inches too. This is doubled. Um... I'm not positive what these stones are, but again, they're fluid. They're cold, ice cold. And what's nice about them is they have some, look at my hands, holy crap. They have some um, different colors in the stones, which makes them different. Okay, let's do this 36 inch. Uh, stone necklace here. This can be doubled. Let's do this for four dollars. Now these 
are, oh, I'm trying to think what these are called. These are the blue and green stone. And these are just basic chips. Okay. Um, has a round bead up here at the top. That must have been where they joined it together. All right, because I don't see any other place. Now, let me see if I can show you. I'm going to sell this for what this would sell in a local bead store. Can you see the blue and the green together? Very, very pretty. So I'm just going to sell this for a plain $4. It's at least 36 inches long. Okay. Now I have this pretty. Oh, what have we got here? It's a double stranded. Oh, wow, this is nice. Triple strand. I know what I'm going to do with this. Um, I have a customer, one of my customers bought a bracelet that was similar to this, and after she purchased it, the necklace, I mean, excuse me, the bracelet came apart, and it's the same three strands, so what I'm going to do is, this is what I'm going to send her as a replacement for that uh, bracelet that was missed in her package. All right, because of the, and I've been trying to fix this bracelet for, I can't tell you how long, but I can't find the pieces. So, this is going to go to her. All right, but it's Moonstone and uh, Mother of Pearl Discs. And it has an extended, this is a gorgeous bracelet. So, this is not for sale. Okay, I have to, have to do things right by people. Okay, now I have two bracelets that are bone. This one here is coming apart. All right. Um, I might try to redo this one unless somebody's really interested in it. This one has koi fish on it. Okay. I don't have time for restringing. Um, this one's got a broken one in it. All right. But if it was restrung, you'd never know. So I'm going to offer these reasonable this one here that's split in the middle here this would be very easy you don't want to glue any of this part here you would just glue the two pieces on the outside and you can see that they would never you'd never ever see where that came apart from okay but don't put any glue in here because you'll have one hell of a mess all right but those will just go together naturally all right so i'm going to sell sell these um they would be two dollars each okay so if you have a little bit of patience um this is an astronomical bargain for these two pieces all right all right now we have this is really cute i got my ruler backwards this is reasonable. This has got a beautiful chain on it. This is, has a 18 inch silver tone chain. Beautiful condition. Lobster claw clasp. And at the very bottom it's got this little blown glass bead with a flower in it. I'm hoping you can see this. It's so pretty. And it actually looks like a real flower in there. It does not look like that was added into the glass. It's really pretty. So we have this really cute little pendant on this chain. Let's do this for $3. Now this is dirty, but I'm going to put this in the cleaner. Now it does have a tag. And I don't know what this tag says. I'm going to try to show it to you. I don't know if you can see this or not. It's, I don't know, I don't know, Hill, maybe, H-I-L-L. -L. But anyway, it just needs a good cleaning. 
Look at all these gemstones here in faceted teardrops. These are gorgeous. All right. And they come to a point. This There's one here. And then there's, let's see, one, one. And then there's two here. This is mother of pearl and a citrine. I'm not sure. That almost looks like it could be lobbiter, right? There looks like there's something in it. Um, it's got amethyst. All right. It's really pretty. Um, I want to do this for four dollars. I will clean it up. Very heavy with all those gemstones. Really beautiful. Okay. We got two stretch bracelets here. Um, one is tiger eye. I think we did these. This one here. This has got glass in it. And the other one here. I'm not positive what this is. So, two dollars each. Okay. This is a very old mother of pearl necklace. Everything is done individually on this. I'm going to throw this into the cleaner. Um, very beautiful. I love this. There's so much character to this old shell. It's unbelievable. So, measurement on this. Um, 16 inches plus it does have an extender on that long extender on that spring ring clasp let's do three dollars on this old necklace this is beautiful all right now let's get into these pendants oh, and earrings all right first one we have here um, this is called Chinese blue rhodochrosite all right, and it's got a pretty large thing through it, so you'd be able to get a decent sized chain or a cord through this. Really pretty. There's some sparkliness to this. It's in the package. It's brand new. I don't want to take it out. Um, let's do uh, about $4 on that pendant. Okay, now, this here, um, I love this stone. I wish I knew what this stone was. It could be, hmm, I don't know. It's a cranberry colored stone. Somebody took and wire wrapped this. They did a nice job on it. Um, let me see if I can get this up close so you can see how pretty it is. And it's big. It's um, a triangular shape. Look at the, the marks in this. Um, it would go through... A big chain, big rope. Um, you can move these around the way you want them so you can adjust it. It's got these curly cues here. Let's do this one here for four dollars. Okay, now this one here you're gonna have to put um, a loop through it, but this is a huge, humongous, heavy piece of rhodochrosite. All right, if nobody buys this, I'm gonna put it in my box. This is a gorgeous piece. All right. Um, I can't tell you how heavy this is, but it's five dollars. So you just have to put um, um, you'd, you'd you'd have to take and put a rope through, tie it, and then put your chain through that. Um, there's many things that you can do with it. You can even wrap it. It's a beautiful piece of rhodochrosite, and it's big and it's heavy. All right. Now we have this gorgeous mother of pearl pendant that I brought up and showed you before. All right. It's got a nice um, um, bail on it. And uh, it's got a flower on top of a flower and then a carved center part. We'll do that for three dollars. Now we have, this is a nice piece of rose quartz. And um, It's a point. You can almost use it. Um, no, you wouldn't want to use it as a pendulum. All right. But it's really, it's it, it's hard to tell you in the, let's see. Let's see if this will show you. No, that ain't going to show you either. I'm trying to put it against something to show you how pink it is. It's, it's really pink. All right. We'll do that for $4. Um...
have a couple of interesting things here. This one, I don't know what it is. Um, I think it's moss agate. I'm not positive. Um, really beautiful green stone. And um, nice oval. I'll give you a close-up. Uh, it's got some translucency to it. Really pretty, pretty, pretty stone. Um, nice pendant. And I wish I, I got to get a flashlight up here because um, sometimes it really helps. This ain't going to work, but let me see how it does it. No. Hang on one second. I do have something here if I can find it. Oh. Of course I ain't going to find it. That's because I'm looking for it. There we go. All right, let's see if this does anything. I want you to be able to look into this stone. Take a look at that. It's really beautiful. All right, so we have that one. Let's do that one here for four dollars. Then we have this. This is gorgeous. All right, I don't think this is going to go through this. I think this is too opaque. Well, you can see some of it. All right, but this is a Druzy. It looks like a Pac-Man right here. All right. All right, beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous stone. Now, this one, you're going to have to put a jump ring on it before you put it on your chain. Okay, and I have a lot of chains, so... If you purchase one of these and you want a chain, let me know. I'll try to find something in there for you. But look at all the stuff inside of that. Can you see all that? All this, that's the lines and the stuff. So that's the way your light is going to hit it when you uh, wear it. All right. Now, one of the nicest pieces that I have here is this one. Well, everything's moving around and coming apart here. And... This is done in copper wire. This is the rough side. And this is a fossil. And this is the correct side. This is an ammonite in here. You're not gonna this is an opaque stone. You're not gonna see through this. Alright, can you see the somebody spent a lot of time. Look at that ammonite fossil right in there. It's beautiful. Okay, it's wrapped in copper wire. Has a nice bale up here. Just slip a cord through that. Very organic, very natural. Let's do this piece for seven dollars. Let me get a better. There you go. Can you see that? How pretty that is? And there's the rough side. That's so interesting. Okay, we have a couple more. And let me turn the flashlight off because I don't think we're going to need it again. All right. This, I think, is actually... Uh, this is a difficult thing to try to guess what this could be. Because if you look on the corner here, there's some clear. I mean, this looks like turquoise if you ever asked me um, what it could be. And I think it's wrapped in a silver wire. It's got um, it's a couple of different charms that are hanging off of it. So you can put the charm to the back. All right, there's both sides of it. I think this is a very pretty, pretty, pretty stone. Let's do four on this. Then I have this, and I think this is glass. It's supposed to be representative of a piece of coral. All right. Anybody interested in that? We'll do three on that. It's very pretty. It is ice cold, so it's definitely, it's not plastic. Okay, now, I have these gorgeous. These are pierced. These are absolutely beautiful earrings. Get out of here, Baxter. Can you see these, how pretty these are? Mother of Pearl. 
and there's the they got the nice back on them goes through your ear comes through here okay let's do four dollars on these now we have a piece of pyrite which is right here and this is a, a representation of I think the Inca where they you climb up the Inca thing all right and they put um, um, some uh, I don't know if that's part of it or what or they it's it's really weird let me put this in my hand and maybe you can see all the colors it's hard to show you this thing shines like look 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 every way you look at it there's a different color that that comes up let's do this pendant for three very very pretty it's ready to go on a cord or a chain all right I have a pair of earrings um, well, my throat's getting sore by the minute okay these have got a jasper and these look like a little amethyst in front of it and some agate on the top all right these are pretty the wires almost look like they're sterling silver but I don't see a marking on them we'll do these for three I have these earrings here I got to put these together these are polished stones and they're on the wire okay they look like they're um, let me see here for a second hang on oh yeah look at that they are not a black stone you can actually see through those that's amazing let me put it back look let's do these for a dollar all right then I have these Baxter stop what is wrong with you there's these this is glass these are real pearls and there's some gemstones on top let's do these for two dollars all right here Dalmatian these look like sterling um, I can't see anything on the hook they got this big 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 butt hook on them and they're very pretty Dalmatian Jaffster we'll do those for three okay and then well I can't believe it all the earrings matched up kudos to this to this goodwill all right um it's here somewhere I saw it the um here it is right here the ear wire came off all right so and I think let me see this here maybe that's just dirt I thought I saw a 925 on here uh, but anyway we got two beautiful pieces of uh, tiger eye and a pearl um, with the hook right there I just have to put that back on let's do those for four now the only thing left I have this is a polished natural stone with a bail and then this here you can't see it too good let me see I don't know if you can see it's almost like wow it light makes everything look blue this looks like um i don't know like a more of a you know, it can't be lava stone there's actually marks in this it's like a gray stone a gray donut so i have these if anybody's interested you can have one of them if you buy something got a donut and we have this polished rock looks like somebody's kidney okay and other than that that's pretty much it I want to show you I got this yesterday this came you guys know I collect these and this is this is where this is an Avon pin I didn't know Avon made one of these so I like the the gemstones that are you know the rhinestones the way they put them in there okay I hope you enjoyed this finally of the gemstones it's been a long time coming they've been here for a while 
I just haven't gotten to them and uh, I've been promising and promising and promising so I figured today was the day to bring them out and give you a treat. So I want everybody to take care of themselves again. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for joining me with um, watching my videos. Um, I, it makes me feel good to know that people watch and, and listen out there. So being in the house, I don't, uh, it's like I'm not forgotten. I'm still communicating and talking with people. Um, the sun finally came out today. But um, it's still not really uh, warm yet. But it will be. So, and the pond is, the stuff in the pond is growing um, fiercely. So another week or so, I'll probably go out and do a short camera, um, phone video to show you. Um, this is so pretty. And I wore it well through this video. And it was so comfortable. Um, do a short pond video so you guys can see the fish and how tall the plants have already gotten. And the fish will be breeding pretty soon. That's a fiasco when that happens. So anyway, again, thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching my videos. Don't forget to smash the like button. I really would appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed this. And everybody take care of yourself. Stay safe, happy, and healthy. And again, we will be in touch soon. Bye-bye, everybody.